uh, student directory 2077 to 78 well that's pointless uh I guess it's gonna give us file corruption file corruption because they didn't want to make a list of names I guess Yeah, all system errors. What about enrolled graduates. All right, well that's just worthless. What else we got? Directory archives. All right, so this is a worthless terminal. Why? Why let us play on that at all? Why give us so many options to go through if we can't actually go through it? Oh, master lock door. Uh, I'm gonna save that one for last. We've been picking a lot of locks. And an expert lock door. Well, technically better. If I but were you, I wouldn't drink a drop of that. I don't. What? Oh. Soil sensor reading detected. I don't plan on drinking anything. Movement detected. Curious. Hmm. Okay, I'm cake. No. Uh, nope, just regular synth armor. What about you? Sturdy. It's somewhat better, I guess. Now, if only I could get the right side of the heavy armor, we'd be set. Alright, this. I guess we'll pick since it's only a novice. Sweet. So I finally, uh, more or less finished Demon Souls. And by more or less, I mean I could. I don't have all the trophies, but if I had a uh, PlayStation Plus subscription, I would have them within an hour. Probably. I can't remember if the trophy for invading somebody is just to invade them or to actually like invade and kill them because if it's just to invade them obviously that's no quick if it's to invade and then successfully kill them yeah i don't really pvp in any souls game so who knows also not 100 percent sure how the uh how they match you up like it's like people that are the same level as you or whatnot you know because if so, it'd probably put me up against somebody It's the same level as me, but has like a much better build, you know? Hey, barricade key. I don't... I mean, we have two doors down there that it might open, I guess. Trees! Oh, one like this, so kill. There we go. Alright. Very different words. Let's see, I don't know what to do. Josephine, I don't know what to do. Our daughter found something in the ruins, some sort of data. A man came to town and said he was from the Institute. He threatened the mayor and the town is in an uproar. We don't know if this guy's real or not, but he seems dangerous and the rumors around town are almost worse. So what accused Jacqueline of being a Sith? People she's grown up with her whole life and now they want to give her to this man or throw her out of town or worse. You'd be so proud, Jack. That's what she likes to go by now. Well, she found your old notes about the mail relay and begged me for weeks to take her into the flooded area when I went to hunt lurks so she could try to find the part she needed. Well, she must have found what you've been looking for because she actually got this mail relay thing working. You could send each other letters across town. Not sure why we wouldn't just walk over and talk to the person, but it's certainly more than I was doing at 14. I think these are backwards again. Josephine, it's been three years since you died, and I still think about you every single day. I wish you could see how much Jackman has grown. Last week was her sixth birthday, and I gave her a old toolbox like you had always planned. The next day, I found that she had disassembled half the stuff in the store. She looks so much like you now. I miss you so much. Okay. So this one is she died three years ago. And then, obviously, he's still writing... Okay, so he's basically writing these two his dead wife thing. But I guess this one was before the yeah, I guess that isn't part of the mail relay, right? Uh, Gerald, I'm not saying this as the mayor, but as your friend. I don't know if the visitor was from the Institute or not, but I know what a dangerous man looks like, and I don't want to call his bluff. 
Our people are scared and looking for someone to blame. It does seem like Jacqueline was the seat of this mess, so keep her out of sight till we get this sorted out. If your daughter does have that data, we should have it ready to turn over if need be. Uh, Gerald, how many times have I told you that daughter of yours would be the end of you? I've told you a thousand times no good has ever come from messing pre-war gobbledygook. Uh, if she were my daughter, I would have beaten some sense into her years ago. I'm almost glad Josephine isn't alive to see what a wreck your family has become. Shame on you, Gerald Spencer. If my boys come to harm from this, I will beat you to death myself. Well, Martha... Good God. Good to know that you're an abusive parent. Uh, Gerald, you know I love Jacqueline like she was my own granddaughter. It breaks my heart to say this, but I think the two of you should leave town. Just run for it. Leave the Commonwealth. You're still young enough to start over, and Jack is as smart as can be. I still hear more than people think, and I'm not hearing anything good. Even if this visitor is an imposter, I fear our own neighbors may turn on you first, Sylvia. Well, I don't think we've heard of anybody... Named Jacqueline, have we? Maybe? I don't know. I'd probably have to look it up. Even if uh, we did meet them, I mean, I guess if they were, if they did run right, there would be no reason for them to keep their, like if they wanted to hide, then they would need to change yes. their names. You're pretty handy with a bobby pin. Because, I mean, they would have to, if they wanted to run, but keep their names, they would need to stay in contact with these guys to see if, A, anything happened to them, or, B, it, uh... Uh... The guy turned out to be an imposter after all, right? I mean, there's a barricade key, but there's more than two bodies back here, which leads me to believe that it's not... Jacqueline and her dad. Oh, this must be where he... Oh! The barricade, because this is where he hunts Meyer Lurks from. Time to make a mess. Oh, wow. She does not do a lot of damage. Oh, well. Never mind. I was going to say she doesn't do much damage against Meyer Lurks, and then she killed him in the next hit, so... Are they like raising my looks back here? I see a bunch of eggs. So this would be the flooded area where she was pulling the parts up from. Oh, and that's one more of the gate. So does that mean that this one... Nope, still a master locked door. I'm just going to try to not... Kate, why'd you have the eggs? You wouldn't hit a girl, would you? Here, yeah, you I take care of them. I don't even think those things gave me experience for killing them. That's how. That's a dead one. No. Like that's how pathetic they were. What are the odds that there's any safe Got that it. would be considered, like, a novice lock, right? Like, like doors to houses, I would imagine, would be, like, novice locks, right? Maybe not mine, because I got a fancy lock, because, you know, I need a new one, and why not? I think the eggs hatched in. But, uh, I'd imagine, like, your standard door lock is probably, would be considered, like, a novice lock. So, there's no way that there's a safe that would have a novice lock, right? Okay, so then I'm assuming that this is the elevator that... that Jack's terminal opens. Oh wow, there actually isn't... I thought this area was going to be bigger. But no, it's, uh, it's not. There's also one big Meyer look in here, and that's it. Oh, wait, we got a whole other section over here. It's just she fighting more of the babies. Is this a 
joke. This has to be a joke. <laughs> Up close and personal. Okay, so is that just okay? It looked like it was moving, but it's just. Uh, are you gonna deal with that or? Damn it! Then kill it, and not just stand there getting hit by it. So what, he would just come in here and kill Myra Lurks and then, what, sell the meat, I guess? I have a locked door and I can't trust I don't, that this key is going to open up any of the other ones. That's it. I'm sure Kate can handle what's back there. Oh, and then this is the other side of the door, so if you go around, you get a little bit. Oh, it's a Dean's Terminal. Alright, well, I'll deal with this while Kate continues fighting. Mail relay. Belt Professor Campbell. You said to contact you if I saw Professor Campbell doing anything strange. Well, he's been going to the Student Credit Union most evenings, which seems a little weird. Also, I saw him and Leslie Matthews going over there on Saturday on my way to basketball practice. Isn't she one of his grad students? Oh, and Sandra said he had been asking the student records to find out Leslie's birthday. What's up with that? So could we meet to talk about that academic probation now? So he clearly thinks that Professor Campbell is banging Leslie. Uh, Dean Patterson, I'm sorry, sir, but I wasn't able to get Colonel Rosemont on the phone for you. They, me, kept, they kept redirecting my call for hours, and when I finally reached them and said, and asked to put you on, he just said that he would save you both the time and confirm that you don't have clearance and hung up the phone. Tried to call back, but they said that he's not taking any more calls right now and that if you want to speak with him, you'll need to drive out to the base. Sorry, Alan, but the deal is done. As legal has probably told you by now, the military tends to get a bit upset if you try to wiggle out of a contract for them. And no, I can't tell you where the lab is or what my research is about because you don't have the clearance. You'll need to take that up with Colonel Rosemont. Why are you making this personal? The university is making a bunch of money on this, and the research may be declassified eventually, in which case it would make you even more. Uh, Dean Patterson, do you know what exactly the Army is constructing under the admin building? They are making an awful lot of noise with those jackhammers. They told me I had to go through Professor Campbell for inquiries, but he said it was classified. I asked if you had authorized this, and he said to check his contract. Well, legal did and said that it's kind of a gray area that his lawyer added during negotiations. They also said that they tried to bring it up to you at the time, but that you went ahead and signed it anyway. I hope that great money is worth all this hassle. Alan, I'm under no illusion that this is the real, that the real reason you wanted to bring me on as the head of the department was for my business contacts from the private sector. Just accept Accept the grant money and let me do my research. I'm sure you'll skim some off for a new scoreboard or something equally useless. Oh, and I'm certain when you get back from your vacation and read this, you'll check my contract and find I do have the authority to negotiate and accept grants for my department. Enjoy Maui. I see. They're backwards again, though. Why are so many things on these backwards? Or seemingly backwards, anyway. Cryo grenade, frag grenade. Here. Oh my god, are you still fighting that? Making me feel like a jilted lover. Well, it's about time you fucking got him, Dad. Jesus. Like little things that die in one hit. Alright. An enemy may be utilizing stealth. How interesting. Be yeah, I wasn't I, I opened a door and walked through it. There was no stealth involved. Okay. Combat initiated. Did you see that? Good. No. I thought it was me. It would appear my target has yes, sneaky little disappeared. Oh, well, there he is. Um, actuator. How does it feel getting your arm kicked by a girl? Tearing you a new one. Tag team that one. Gotta be. Something of value on him. Not really. Got more ammo. 
I feel like we've definitely strayed into two-part territory here, but that's fine. <sighs> Maybe I'll play something else before I record Vampire tomorrow. I, that's more or less why I would leave one Fallout video to record on Got Saturday. Because then, you know, I'd play them, it'd get me in the groove and everything. Get me war nice and warmed up before I played that. It's also a little weird that the uh, this whole section is past all the Myrlurk stuff because it seems to connect to the main area. Where Movement detected. Curious. You must die now, human. If I find you, you're gonna regret it. That was a good one-two punch. Well, it's more of a shotgun bat, but you know, still. Gotta watch my footing so I don't fall down. Oh, chain door, so this must lead. Yeah, and while we never really looked out here. Nice. Oh, this place is huge. Is and I mean, present. we still have Vault 88 to go through as well. Who spoke? And that opens back up into the Commonwealth. Mm, overactive sensors. Nothing more. Oh my god, man, this place is so fucking big. Like, huge. Oh, this must be her workshop, if I had to guess. A dinner fork in the dresser for some reason. Uh, I'm assuming that number is something. What it is? No idea. Hey, Tesla yes. Science! Energy weapons inflict 5% crit damage. Oh, that's a longer dress. Teddy bear. Oh, good God. All right. Okay. Let's see anything here. We can go down a floor or outside. Oh, my God. I don't know where to go. This place is just so fucking big. Which, to be fair, it, you know, it's based off of a real location, I imagine, so. But, you know. You must be terminated. Oh, it's a leader. Lower limb actuator damaged. Load me, please. Uh, fusion cell. Oh, right arm. I think all I need now is the heavy synth right leg, and I'll be set. These guys are also not great at uh, finding me if that guy didn't come out when I when we blasted the other dude. Like, ooh, I'm hanging in there. Professor's terminal. All right, let's see. Oh, good God, so much to read. Maybe it's a good thing I didn't end up finding this before doing Vampire. I wouldn't have had enough voice to carry me through three more videos. Took me forever to figure out what you meant about Leslie's birthday. It was a good idea, but we haven't been dating that long. I had to look it up in the student records in the front office. Don't tell me that. Anyway, while I was there, I overheard that Dean Patterson has an alumni dinner this weekend, so he should be out of your hair. See you Saturday. So that's how you're supposed... And then I'm assuming that if we go down to the terminal and find Leslie's record, maybe that'll actually give us a password. But we've already been in the union and opened up everything, so I don't. It, I, it probably is just a password for one of the terminals or something. 
I've got you now, you sneak. You think I wouldn't notice how often you visit the student credit union? I'm sure it's merely a coincidence that your graduate student, Miss Matthews, is always on shift when you have to get something from your safe. You think it wouldn't reach me that you and she disappear for hours in the safe? If you don't tell me what the construction was and what your research is about, I will be going straight to the press and the police. <laughs> Professor Campbell, I understand the need for secrecy, sir, but don't you think that we could get more work done if you gave Leslie and I access to the research without having, without you having to be there. That accident was weeks ago, and you said yourself it was due to a bad fuse. Leslie says she saw the dean skulking around the following you yesterday, and it is going to get harder to get work done if he is tailing you all the time. Colonel Rosemont sounded pretty serious about wanting the research as soon as possible. God damn it, Stuart, you aren't worming your way out of this this colonel rosemont you insisted i needed clearance from is nearly as insufferable as you are when i went to see him he claimed your research is classified and had me escorted from the base you think you are so clever but i know this is just one of your old army buddies helping you pull a train don't think i won't be talking to our lawyers mr campbell first of all you do not have my permission to call me by my first name i am the dean here and you would do well to remember that Secondly, what is this I've been hearing about you and officers from the Army performing unauthorized construction under the administrative building while I was on vacation? This is absolutely unacceptable. You will explain to me at once what the meaning of this is and what you are researching. It has come to my attention that you were contacted by the Army regarding your research. I am the one running this university, and I have the right to know and approve all research programs. I know that your colleagues hold you in high regard and that when we brought you on last year your contract guaranteed your tenure but i don't want to make an issue of this with me okay i am leaving this afternoon on my vacation but when i get back in two weeks i expect you to be fully appraised of this research all right once again backwards really ellen you're going through my terminal now i told you that my research was classified quit being a pathetic worm and just mind your own business Okay, October 8th. Uh, undergraduate class, grade vacuum tube, tube circuit layouts, and in class review for the midterm. For the graduate class, continue lecture from last week about sub wavelength phenomena and plasmonic excitations. Discuss how these concepts may be used in the future for more optimized circuitry. So, in my case, you should find out when Leslie's birthday is and that she wanted to meet him at the credit union at 7 p.m. And that one's corrupted. I don't know what the hell it will be. Oh, Jack's note. Uh, miscellaneous. Oh, God, the Institute is here. I can hear them fighting outside. Dad, I figured out where the data is, but I think I'm too late. I'm sorry. So she hadn't even got the data yet. Well, and also the fact that she heard them fighting outside doesn't bode well for them. I mean, once again, there's a lot of skeletons everywhere, which, if they lived here, which seemed to be the case, it... Oh, fuck, this one's uncomfortable. I didn't read that fast enough. It seems odd to me that they didn't bother to clear out the skeletons, even if there was mire lurks in this part of it. What the hell happened here? Uh, I big never boom. thought I'd be saying this, but I, would I really need your help? Anything you need, Kate. I was hoping you'd say that. We're friends now, which means I can trust you with anything. I'm also hoping it means you've got me back, because I need it now more than ever. I'm, I'm sick, and I don't think I can hide it from you anymore. Okay, calm down and take a deep breath. If you're sick, I want to help you. Okay, okay. It's like this. Ever since I left home, I've been using Psycho. I don't know why I'm still taking that crap, but I can't stop. And believe me, I've tried. I can't even go a day without it anymore, and I'm fucking sick and tired of it. I've even been doing it behind your back. Sneaking doses when I think you aren't looking. Worst of all, it's been making me sick. I've been spitting blood, and I don't feel right inside. I need to get this shit out of me system before I wind up dead. Tell me how we can clean you up. Well, there might be a way, but it's not gonna be easy. 
There's supposed to be a vault somewhere out here. A place called Vault 95. I've heard that Vault Tech used it for some kind of social experiment. Stuck a bunch of junkies inside to poke and prod. Well, they supposedly had some special method to clean up those blokes in there. Some kind of a machine or something. If we could get inside, maybe that machine could help me. Do you know where we can find Vault 95? Not really, no. All I know is it's supposed to be somewhere in the southwestern part of the Commonwealth. Look, I don't want you to think I'm some kind of low-life junkie. A stupid girl who's harming herself for no good reason. From one friend to another, all I'm asking is for your help. When you're ready, take me out to Vault 95 and help me put an end to me pain. Alright. Well, as you can imagine, that'll be our next objective once we're done here at University Point. The big-ass fucking area it is. Okay, we got the prototype. We got... Alright. <sighs> so I think the only thing we have left is to check out the... Oh god, burp it like a motherfucker. Like second floor maybe is what it would be. Oh god, the first thing to I think we're the out. first people to set foot here in quite a while. I don't think so. Well, I guess it depends on your definition of quite a while. I don't think so. I don't think it would like I would qualify. It is quite a while. Go down the floor here. Okay. Uh, Mom's birthday was yesterday. Dad and I left flowers on her grave. He was telling stories about her, and I kind of mentioned that I don't really remember what she looked like anymore. Said it was okay, but I can hear him sobbing in his room. <sighs> Can't take this right now. I'm going to go scavenging in the flooded area. Still haven't replaced my secondary hard disk after it blew out last week. Maybe I can find a new one. Sylvia also said that her network port has been, port has been acting up. Look. Looks like Dad has stopped crying. Hope he didn't realize it's not back there by myself. I've gotten so good that the looks don't even know I'm there. I didn't manage to find a replacement port for Sylvia, but I did manage to pull a hard disk out of a large console in one of the lecture halls. Some of the data on it even seems to be intact. I'm going to poke around before I reformat. Who knows, maybe there's something interesting on it. Oh man, this is big. I managed to get part of the data off that hard disk, and it seems to be some research about reactor efficiency. Part of it was corrupt, but I might be able to find the rest somewhere else. There was a caravan passing through, so I figured I'd see what I might get if I could find the rest of it. He said to the right person that kind of thing might be worth several hundred caps. We agreed to a 2575 cut if he can find a buyer. Now I just need to figure out how to get the rest of the data. Uh, I haven't been able to make any progress with finding the data, and the lurks have started laying eggs again. And to make matters worse, Dad just got back from some council meeting and somehow found out I had been searching the flooded area. He locked everything up and said I'm not allowed to do any scavenging. I tried to explain about the data, and he listened, but then started acting weird and told me to go to my room and not to come down until he sorts things out. What is going on? Oh god, what did I do? I've been getting mail from everyone in town saying that the Institute is coming and asking if it's my fault. Someone even accused me of being a sin. Uh, somehow they must have found out about the reactor research, but it's not even complete. Dad said that it was probably just some scammer or a raider trying to trick us, but I don't know. What if it really is the Institute I need to get back in there and find that data somehow? It wasn't even in the flooded area. Oh god. Uh, well, at least there's some. Jacqueline, I'm serious. No more scavenging until this thing with the council blows over. I know people are scared, but I think this guy the mayor talked to is just a con man. The Institute hasn't shown up in a long time. Why would they now? I've been calming things down around town, and I think I've got enough support that I can block anything crazy in the vote tonight. I'm not mad at you, but I want you to stay home and just don't stir anything up for right now. Love that. Uh, do you have any idea what you've done, you dumb brats? think that just because they haven't attacked anyone in years that it's something we all made up, but now the Institute is going to come and kill us all. Did you even think about that, you selfish little bitch? Great people that lived here. Uh, your father says you don't have this data thereafter, but if that's the case, then for all we know, you're actually working for the Institute. Don't leave your home. It's not your fault. What actually happened? 
uh, you synth bitch, not going to die for you. Wow, yeah, some great people at this town. Door control, can open it, not that it really matters. Uh, yeah, let's eject it, we'll play it on our... And then, yeah, that just opens up into there. All right. Okay. First, I just... I want to say I'm sorry, Dad. I knew I was onto something big and thought I'd see what a traitor would pay if I found it. I had no idea that the Institute would be after any of this. And now the whole town is in trouble. I know you told me not to worry. But I just know that the town is going to vote to throw us out, or worse. I wasn't lying when I said I didn't have the data, despite what Mr. Owens and his cronies think. That's why I have to go back in. I know the key is in there. I just need to put the pieces together. It's something with that professor. If I can find it, maybe I can give the Institute what they want. And they'll just leave us alone. I mean, here's the thing, too, right? Like, I don't think that the way the Institute handled it was right. And not just like, oh, they shouldn't have killed people, because, I mean, you know, whatever. Don't leave anything behind that might be but they clearly didn't get the information anyway. Because we had to go through everything to unlock the vault in that. And if they had got the information, they probably wouldn't have left since here afterwards, right? Like... So, I mean, if they had just... Kellogg, that's the guy's name. Like, if Kellogg hadn't killed everyone, right? Then there is a solid chance that at some point, Jacqueline would have found the information, right? Like, they knew that she, at the very least, was on the trail of the information. They knew that... Uh, whether or not she had it, she was looking for it, and they knew that she was wanting to sell the information. So all they had to do was pose as a traitor, and then even if they didn't want to pay for the information, kill her once she, once it was brought out, right? I mean, instead of going in there and threatening them like that, if they had just posed as a traitor, been like, hey... I'll, like, you know, hey, we'll buy that from you. Sure, why not, right? Uh, she would have just sold it to them, and they would have had it, and everything would have been done. Like, We're gonna splatter your brain! <laughs> Seems like these have some explosive rounds on them as well, which is nice. Alright, who is... Warmed up. Anyway, uh, but yeah, that'll be it for this part. Next part, like I said, we'll start heading down to uh, Vault 95 there to get Kate all cleaned up from the drugs. Uh, and I think there's a bobblehead in there as well. I think there's at least one bobblehead in every vault, if I'm not mistaken. But. Uh, whether or not we'll go straight there, we'll clear a couple locations along the way, I don't know. Um, I remember that there's like a bunch of uh, gunners protecting the place, if I'm not mistaken. So, But yeah, that'll be it for this part. Uh, for this week, I guess, because I, I accidentally <laughs> recorded two parts again. But I did not think University Point was that big, that. but... Uh, I don't think that I uh, I go to that place very often, if I'm being honest. So thanks, everybody, for watching, and I will see you next week for more.